Welcome. This is David Bowles, Human Meme. Today's topic, talk to yourself. Well, here's some advice. Stop listening to yourself. Start listening to me. Don't listen to yourself. Talk to yourself. Now, that advice may seem odd and absolute and a strange thing for me to cherish here as the host of your favorite human meme podcast. But sometimes days like these, moments like this, should be more about you and not as much about me. In the past, in this podcast, we've spoken in detail before about the difference between living a reflexive life and a reflective life. The reflexive life reacts and explores new ideas, while the reflective life merely confirms common current thinking. Reflexivity is dynamic. Reflectivity is a mirror. And so, it is always better to be reflexive and open than to be reflective and closed. So, when you begin to talk to yourself, as I am advising today, you are being reflexive. You are activating a conversation with yourself in your own mind. Hey, Dave, you can do this. You've done it before. You are setting up a confirmation bias in your favor that actually works. You are manipulating your own thinking with your own positive feedback in real time. Now, I don't want to bring this up because bringing it up is like ringing a bell, and you cannot unring a bell, but I must. You can also be a negative influence to yourself, and you can talk bad to yourself, but please don't do that. Don't call yourself names or put yourself down, because that's how you sabotage yourself. That's precisely how you lose for trying. So, now back to the good stuff. Yes, you're cheering yourself on in active conversation. You are speaking to yourself quietly or even out loud. Do whatever it takes to start the conversation in your favor. Do not be shy with yourself. Always be supportive, even if you're in doubt of yourself because you are your own cheerleader. You know how to get the job done because you've done it before. So when it comes to being reflective, that's when you listen to yourself and the mistake-laden listening to your own gut. And there's a difference, as we've also discussed in this You and Me podcast, in your gut, between listening to your gut and letting it, your gut, guide you in previous successful experiences. But that was another podcast episode. So, you do not want to listen to yourself or even your own gut, that is passive, that is not action. Today we know that listening requires empathy and dogmatism, and you don't need that unto yourself. That listening is a self-fulfilling prophecy of doom and boredom. 
So when you are scared, talk to yourself, soothe yourself. When you are excited, too excited, talk yourself down. When you need a friend, become that friend. Become a friend to yourself. And offer the strength of belief and of the common standard of excellence that you are daring to oblige all back into yourself. So if we are being our own best advocate, and if we are no longer passively listening to ourselves, how then do we best react with other people in the world, between listening and talking, back and forth, the communication dyad. Well, you flip it, of course. With others, you listen first. With others, you talk second. People around you know things, and it is your moral obligation to listen to them and to ask questions of them about what you think they know. There is a grand power in the knowing of things beyond your own narrow realm of living. The educated, thoughtful, genius mind is always asking questions and seeking answers. And talking to other people is fine, but talking is really just a block to learning. You don't learn anything new from other people by talking. Nervous people talk. Uncertain people talk. Ill-prepared people talk. And they talk because listening is hard. A conversation is listening and talking. And most people just like to lecture. They like to make a speech. Listening takes practice. You must be reflexive in your listening to accept new concepts and to explore daring ideas. Listening will win you the day and grant you the honor of the night. So, my human meme friend, talking to yourself is not the public mark of craziness and shame. Talking to yourself out loud or in the privacy of your own mind is actually the reflexive secret to your success. Talking to yourself creates a plan of action that you can then set into motion. Talking to yourself erases any self-doubt lingering in the air. Talking to yourself presses you to respond to yourself. Ask yourself a question. You just might be shocked at the answer you receive in return. Thank you for listening. Be a human meme.